showing you how I got these um, Havana Senegalese twist, okay? And it's 24 of them. It took me like two hours, which isn't bad, because you can leave these up for a while. And so I'm gonna be showing you the steps I took to get this look. And I'm loving it, okay? Da -da 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 -da. Like, mm -mm -mm -mm, good. Chicken noodles. So, yeah, I'm gonna show you, so keep watching, and you will find out how to do this. And you might wanna do it as soon as you learn, because it's super easy. And it's super cute. First things first, I'm starting on clean hair. So I shampooed and conditioned my hair and I also put a leave-in conditioner in along with argan oil. And now I'm so you will need a comb, whichever comb you like to part with. You can use a red tail comb, I'm probably gonna use this or a red tail comb. Some gel. I have four packs of the Cuban. I have four packs of the Cuban Twist for double strand style. So hopefully this turns out pretty good. And these are gonna be jumbo. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to part my hair off into the sections that I want my twist to be before I even open the pack of twists. This is the type of hair that I'm going to be using. So this hair comes pre-sectioned, like even though it looks, it, it's already separated. So I think I'm gonna start with two per twist because I do want these jumbo. And so they stretch a good bit. Take a little gel that's kind of a lot a little bit of gel just to rub on the base because I want the base of my hair smooth I'm gonna add a little more and to be honest my brush job is short <laughs> um this is my first time doing this I ain't scared though because it don't seem that hard so I'm gonna just split this in half Make sure these are even. So as you see now, I am doing the back um, section, some of the back section. But I am going to go in depth in how I'm twisting this. And I have like some good instructions with arrows and everything. So I really want you guys to catch on to this because it's not hard. But it can be different like if it's your first try. So just continue watching because I have a clip to actually show you how. So I have these two pieces left. So I did show you how I did the back. So now I want to show you how I did how I did the front. Sorry if I sound tired. It's because I've been sitting there and I haven't been talking. So that's why. So at the base of each piece, I put eco styling gel. And since this part is in the front, I'm going to add some edge control. To it. Like so. So as soon as I got in front of the camera, I started struggling. And I don't know what happened. So we got it split in the middle, half and half. And we're going to twist this over. Twist this under 
the back one under. And we're gonna continue to do that. And if it's tight, it will loosen up when you end the twist. Because it helps keep you smooth. And as you can see, I, I'm taking the hair and I'm twisting, and then I hold it and then I twist again. Twist, 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 twist. I don't think I have to say twist every time, do I? Hmm, twist, twist. Taking it. And you are twisting it as you move your way down. It looks hard, but it's really not. After you've done like, how many? 22 of them, you get the hang of it. And I just do this all the way to the end. Ignore my nails because I'm in the process of trying to get them back healthy from acrylics. So, that's that. So, I'm going to demonstrate again. I'm going to spritz. Put some eco styling gel on the face. It. Now I'm taking some edge control and I was not flicking you up. And I'm going to take my comb after that and just smooth it. I can't see. So I have it like show. So we're going to take it. We split this in half again. So what you see now is I'm twisting the front piece clockwise and I'm taking the back and taking it clockwise as well. And after I tighten both of those up, I take that back piece and I twist it to the front while continuing to twist clockwise. That was like a tongue twister. So I, you will want to do that all the way down and that's what's going to make your twist secure and make it not go anywhere. So. You get that down, once you get it in the rhythm, you'll be good. My camera's about to die, so I have to really hurry it up. So you saw how I did the last one, so that's good enough, okay? So this is the final look and this is everything and I'm in love with it. It's, it's really cute, it's cute, it's cute. So yeah, it wasn't hard to do. It was fairly easy. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You get the notifications because I am going to be doing like kind of like a lookbook on this hair, like different ways to wear it. So I shall see y'all again soon.